Um, November 9, Yankee Oscar is um, working on a project and uh, I kind of volunteered to give him a hand um, working on this thing and uh, uh, my part is going to be building a, a two meter ground plane antenna for him and this is not my design. I mean, uh, design itself is not mine but the way I'm building it is. So I have a bunch of these um, telescopic whip antennas that come with many different types of uh, radios and receivers. Just your typical, uh, you know, a telescopic whip antenna. And it's got a, a flexible BNC connector on this side and I disassembled these uh, just to get this part right here. And uh, what I did was took a piece of plastic and my idea is to uh, put a connector in the middle. I haven't decided how to do that yet. Uh, because the, uh, the ground plane for this, uh, these uh, ground planes need to come off at a 45 degree angle. So I drilled these holes here at a 45 degree angle. As you can see, it's coming in very, very much at a 45 degree angle. And once I figure out how to get it in there, probably put some epoxy, the, um, the aerials here will just thread right back into these and um, they will extend out to the appropriate length. And um, you can measure that. You don't have to cut these now. You can just take a tape measure and measure them so you can get the right, um, uh, so you can get the antenna resonant. So I'm putting these in here like this. And I'm going to leave them probably uh, sticking out just like that. Uh, since this is the ground plane. I was going to put these in here like this. And I was going to take this piece of copper wire because it fits through these um, screw holes on this. And I was going to just make daisy chain this around and, and ground them all together. And then bring a jumper wire uh, from the uh, center, not the center conductor, from the uh, to the base of the uh, the cable that's going to come in and just solder it to that so all these are soldered to the uh, shield on the cable. The reason I was going to do is use this BNC panel mount or bulkhead connector and um, put it in here like this. It's going to sit down like that and uh, ground that to these and just have a, the BNC connector come right off the top of that and that'll work just fine um, but Tom's going to have to come up with a BNC to SMA connector on the back here, which might be pretty easy. I just need to figure out how I'm going to get all these grounded uh, to the shield of this. And I could put a ring here, or a washer, and um, have a solder that, but I don't have a ring terminal that's quite big enough for this. So this is what I'm working on right here. And um, I'll keep going as time goes on so you can see how this is coming along. But it looks, I think, I like the design right now. I like the way it's going to look. So let me get busy and I will get back with you guys in a bit. A few moments later. Okay, I stopped recording earlier because I had to figure out how to do all, all some of this engineering. So let me show you what I came up with. So I took one of these. It's a panel mount connector and it's got a, a, a nut right here. And I drilled out the center of this and I um, 
As you can see, it's got a lip up here at the top. This goes in that way, it gets hung on that lip, and I tapped the nut inside there and just threaded it on. Now it's not perfectly perpendicular. So the antenna will connect up here. The radiating part of the antenna will connect up there, and you will telescope it out to the required height. And what the thing is with these, you can bend them if it's not perfectly straight. But the cool thing is you can disassemble this whole setup. And on the bottom, it's just that. So what I did was I took one of these, which is the bottom part of this antenna, and I um, took it apart. And as you can see, I put a ring terminal on the shield and one for the conductor. And I'm just going to thread that on the bottom here. And I'm going to, I've got a strip of cable here. This is, um, I'm not sure of the cable itself, but it's got a, an SMA connector on this end. I cut it about just over, probably almost three feet long. It might be a little long, but Tommy can fix it if he needs to. And I just drilled two, two holes here in this piece of ABS. And I put the cable up in one hole, drop it over, put it back to the other. So it comes off the bottom and I can solder it here. And this is just giving it, um, this is just giving it some strain relief. Sorry about the camera. So this is giving it some strain relief. So I'll just go ahead and solder it on right here and I'll, might be almost done with it by then. Let's just see, turn the, my Pace ST25 soldering iron on. Let me get this out of the way. I'm accumulating a, a mess of tools over here. My original plan was to use some like um, solid core 18 gauge wire because I saw a lot of plans on that but you know this kind of gets kind of sloppy and it would have been a lot simpler to do yeah, but um, I think this looks a little better a little a little more professional even though it is uh, a little crooked as you can see and um, I used this uh, I got this wire soldered in all the way around here to, to ground all the radials and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a jumper up here and ground it to that too so I think what I'm going to do is um, probably drill another hole here for a ground wire to go through and I'll go ahead and do that right now so I'm going to put it on here let me put it over here Shot back over here in a minute. And I'll probably just use a piece of this wire that I cut. I'll just put it through there, ground it there, and I'll ground this one right there. So put that one in there. That's exactly what I'll do. So I'll put that, I'll put that right there in the shield of this connector here and I'll go ahead and solder that and I'll dress this other side up when I get, get ready to start doing that side. And of course this is going to go in there as well.
So here's what I've got with the antenna so far, and I apologize for what I got. I'm using my shot back as a setup right now. So as you can see, I got about, well, that's almost four feet of coax with SMA connector on it. I ohmed out everything. Nothing is shorted to itself. The, uh, the, the aerials are all grounded together. Uh, the center conductor is all in, in its right spot and uh, weighs 264 grams. Okay, so here it is. I've got the whole antenna on my uh, shop vac because I don't have nowhere else to set it. And as you can see, now you can see that the, the um, ground plane, the aerials are not symmetrical at 45 degree angles, but it's not bad. And this right here, and I've measured them, and according to the website that I used, uh, oh, let me come over here. So according to the website that I used, the, um, the main element should be 19 and 7 16 inches in each leg, 21 and 3 quarters. So I did that and then I came over here and we're checking the SWR with this Micronta, um, whatever it is. I've got it on uh, 144.390 megahertz and we will check the SWR out on this meter. And I will key up. I'm in my basement, this radio puts out such little power I'm not too worried about interfering with anybody. So let's just see what we get for SWR. It's less than 1.5 to 1. And let me see what the power is. Alright, so let's check the power out here. So the range all the way to the far right of the top scale will be 15 watts. And we'll check that. And it looks like it's putting out about 5 watts. So this little antenna is going to work for um, Tom's uh, balloon project. And um, I'm going to have to... Um, Double check it, make sure it's all buttoned up nice and neat, and I'll probably um, get it, put it in a box and get it sent out there to him so he can get started with the rest of the, uh, with the project. So uh, uh, this will be cool. I'll let him handle the video and uh, what he's going to do with the setup. So I'll talk to you guys again soon. Later.